Good evening. I'm Stephen Stevens. The year 2012 will be seen by video game historians as a turning point for the independent game developer. Modern classics like Hotline Miami, Journey, Fez and FTL forever changed the face of video games. But one game towers above them all and radically altered the course not only of video games but of human civilization. That game was McPixel, the creation of enigmatic child prodigy Sos Sososososovsky. A revolution in art, design, music and groin kicks, McPixel would go on to define a generation of video games and create seismic industry ripples still being felt today. I didn't understand what I had created. I still don't think I do. Soon, the feverishly awaited Muckpixel 3 will arrive to the millions of waiting fans who have waited more than a decade to experience the final chapter in this legendary trilogy. However, not everything has been sunshine and hot dogs for the series. The mere mention of the unreleased Muckpixel 2 sparks uncontrollable emotions in the dozens of developers who worked on the doomed project. And endless speculation from McPixel fans has fueled countless wild theories as to what really happened. Immediately after the enormous success of McPixel 1, I was approached by numerous publishers, investors and bankers who just wanted to throw their money, invest in McPixel. That was a chance for McPixel to be taken to the next level, to level two. With more money being thrown around than he could count in a month of Sundays, middle-aged savant Sos saw an embarrassment of opportunities open up before him, like rare forest flowers. One of the publishers, they wanted to do a real next-gen McPixel. That was the best idea with physical-based rendering, with ray tracing and it's raining and fish moving out of the way and all of these things that are not even real. The ideas they had, like a competitive blockchain visual novel or a beat-em-up city builder. This is what MacPixel 2 was supposed to be. This is the future of gaming. The story that has never been told until now is that of the talented but unfortunate developers lured by the galactic possibilities and ultimately abandoned like corn husks after a roadside picnic. Yeah, I was the lead systems engineer on McPixel 2. Uh, that was back when it was an open world RPG. Our fart physics system got so advanced and needed so much computing power that we were actually renting servers from the same server farm that supplies the Hadron Super Collider. It was a really advanced stuff. I was hired as the lead composer on McPixel 2. And they told me to create over 15 hours of music with the London Symphony Orchestra for what at that point was going to be this AAA cinematic adventure game. It was a bit of a shock because I'm not a composer. And at that point, I'd never even heard of McPixel. They wanted me to uh, consult on groin cakes. Um, I was into it, but the, the tow nut system that I built was using tech that hadn't really been invented yet to the point where it didn't actually exist at all. Mark. クリックスルツ。うわ、懐かしいな。確かに最初はまずね、二人称視点のAs costs mounted and deadlines fell to their death, it became clear that McPixel 2 was going nowhere at high speed. The game's octogenarian creator realized that no amount of money or ray tracing could save the project. It was time to go back to McBasics. I made a tough decision to cancel McPixel 2. There were tears, there were lawyers, there was blood and there were farts. There were sure a lot of farts. I shut down my Pixel 2 Studios. I returned all the money, got rid of the source code, freed all the studio alpacas, and then I just needed a break. So I moved out to the forest to practice feng shui. McPixel 3 is an unexpected and spectacular return to form for the series. 
ingenious puzzles, highbrow humour and a bewitching narrative arc, all in stupendous visual fidelity. Many are already calling it a masterpiece. A masterpiece. 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 The world may have never got its hands on McPixel 2, but its legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of those that had a hand in its creation and eventual destruction.